Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to have your Windows hotspot enabled at startup so every time you start your computer it'll automatically turn itself on. So normally to get to your hotspot you go to your settings, network and internet, and then you have your mobile hotspot right here. But if you restart your computer it's going to turn itself off and then you're going to have to come back in here and turn it on again. Okay, so what we're going to do, first let me turn this off is we're going to use this PowerShell script. Let me open it here in Notepad. So this is what it does, so quite a bit here. So I did not make this, so use at your own risk, but I will put a link in the description where you could download this. And so what I did was I put it in a folder. I just put it in this demo folder right here. And so once you have it in the location you're gonna keep it, go to Task Scheduler. And you want to do a new task, but I already have it here, so I'll show you how I made my task here. So what you want to do is right-click on Task Scheduler Library, Create Task, but I already have it here. Then once you start your new task creation, just kind of follow what I do here. All right, so under General, just call it whatever you want. I called it Hotspot. So if you're logged in with a user that has admin rights, you should be okay. Otherwise, you could add a different user from here. All right, check the box here for run whether user is logged in or not. And check this box for run with highest privileges. Okay, so for triggers, you want to go to new. But in my case, I'm going to edit it here and I'll show you what I did. Okay, begin the task at startup. I just delayed the task for one minute just to kind of give Windows a chance to load up completely. Then I also check this box here for stop task. If it runs longer than 30 minutes, make sure it's enabled. Then for the actions, you want to do new. So you want to pick start a program from the list here, powershell.exe, and then put the path to the PowerShell script in the add argument section here. So mine's in the demo folder. So C colon backslash demo hotspot.ps1. So here's the demo folder, and there's the file. Then conditions, you don't have to change unless you want to. Settings, the default should be okay. I didn't change anything here. And that's it. Okay, so let's close this out here. Let's close everything else out here. Make sure the hotspot is off one more time. Okay, so now we're going to reboot and see what happens. Okay, so we're back in and I waited about a minute. So let's go back to the settings here. Network and Internet. And I can see the mobile hotspot is enabled. All right, so it seems to work fairly well there. So you could try it out for yourself. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description where you could download this PowerShell script here. And then you can try it for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.